again, my name is Tara McGiff. I'm an attorney with the Law Offices of Drinkwater and Goldstein, and this is one of a continuing series on different topics and areas within the realm of personal injury. Uh, Drinkwater and Goldstein is a primarily plaintiff personal injury focused law firm, so we come with these videos from that perspective. If at any point in time you have any questions or concerns during the video, um, our contact information will be listed and I do encourage you to either comment or via the uh, communication methods to contact us to ask the question so that we can try to answer it. We have done that in the past and we always enjoy those types of questions so please feel free. But what I want to talk to you uh, today is if you are a bystander, a witness, or per, uh, peripherally involved in a motor vehicle accident, in other words, you're not at fault, you're not the primary involved person, maybe your vehicle was clipped, um, what sort of action or activity should you undertake? And the reason that we're talking about this today is you may or may not have heard that last month Luke, actor Luke Wilson was involved in a motor vehicle accident where he was clipped. And he has been hailed a hero as a result of his actions involving one of the drivers of the vehicle. Um, he was uh, helpful in pulling a 50-year-old woman from the smoking wreckage of her BMW. And he rightfully has been called a hero, but uh, that brings along with it when you undertake that activity, whether or not you may be helping or not helping the situation through the actions that you are taking. So the tips or the suggestions are going to sort of be focused through that lens. So I'm focusing on smoking wreckage of her BMW because if you are coming up to an accident scene and you want to be of assistance, there are several different things as a bystander that you can do to be of assistance. First, obviously, call 911. Um, police and EMT and an ambulance can come out because investigation is likely necessary and the individuals may require medical assistance, which you are not in a position to provide and you probably should not provide if you do not have medical experience. Um, which brings in, if I do provide assistance, am I pr potentially responsible if something happens? So I'm going to focus on New Jersey specifically, but multiple states have some iteration of this law, which is the Good Samaritan Law. Um, New Jersey actually calls it the Good Samaritan Emergency Response Act, and it encourages bystanders and uh, sort of more geared toward medical providers, medical professionals, but not entirely, to render assistance without fear of being sued for their involvement. Um, it renders them genu generally immune from any liability, but it does potentially make them liable for negligent, reckless, or intentional behavior. So you do want to try to make sure that if you're getting involved in assisting in regards to a motor vehicle accident, that you are assisting in making the situation better and not worse. So with that in mind, if you are going to assist, the very first thing that you should make sure to take care of is your own safety. If you are injured as a result of the accident, you are not able to render assistance. So you wanna make sure that it is safe for you to provide the assistance that you would like to provide to those involved in the motor vehicle accident. There have been unfortunate cases where a Good Samaritan bystander has unfortunately been killed as a result of their attempt to render aid. So you wanna make sure that it is first safe for you to render that aid. We've already discussed calling 911. Um, we do encourage that if you are a bystander or you witness the accident to stay around so that when the police come, you can provide your version of events. Um, pictures, in this day and age, almost everyone has a smartphone or some method by which they can take photographs. A lot of times that's something that the parties don't pay attention to or don't think to do because they've been injured and they're, and they're very concerned about getting medical treatment. So taking pictures of the accident scene, speaking to the police, making sure that you are available to provide what happened so that the investigation can be thorough and complete. Providing comfort and aid to the parties. So. If you don't have medical experience and the individual is complaining of a head injury or neck or back pain, it's not recommended that you make attempts to move them 
unless it is necessary because of their safety. So that brings me back to Luke Wilson's actions. The reports by all accounts essentially identify that her vehicle, that the woman who he pulled out of the vehicle, her vehicle was smoking. So there was a concern then that her vehicle might catch on fire. So the risk of further injuring her is certainly better than potentially having her burn up in the car. So that's the type of, you know, you want to make sure that if you're going to undertake those actions and they are complaining of pain, that you are essentially trying to only respond and do that if there is a danger to the individual. Otherwise, it really is better to leave the individuals in the position that they are so as to allow the police to have a, a complete understanding of how the accident occurred and to minimize the potential to further injure the individual. Um, and then uh, blocking traffic. So utilizing your vehicle or flares or something to advise traffic that is coming up to the scene of the accident that there has been an accident so that there isn't a secondary impact. Um, sometimes the individual as a result of the accident may have been thrown from the vehicle and so they are lying in the roadway. So you using your vehicle until police arrives to block lanes of traffic to advise people that there has been an accident allows you to minimize the additional risk of injury, further injury to the individual who is on the roadway. Um, and then if you uh, see that the vehicle is still running, turning off the ignition to reduce the risk of fire. So these are some of the tips and suggestions that you know are, are helpful if you are a bystander or a witness or peripherally involved in a motor vehicle accident, similar to how Luke Wilson was involved in a motor vehicle accident and acted appropriately upon danger to the individual to remove her from her smoking vehicle um, and to generally assist in the uh, clearing up of the accident so that the woman was able to receive the medical treatment that she required and was no longer in danger of a fire in her vehicle. So if you have been involved in a motor vehicle accident and you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to contact the office. We are located in New Jersey and we do only practice in the state of New Jersey. However, if you are out of state, we are always happy to try to refer you to appropriate counsel because we cannot handle your case. My name is Tara McGitt and I'll see you next time.